Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna be working with lists, but more specifically, we're gonna to try to find the maximum number in a list. I mean, well, that's the goal. I'm not gonna tell you everything, because I'd take away the fun, but I'll help you guys get there. So right now, we have a list of numbers, just like they have a list of numbers here. So it says, write the function max int in list. Nice and specific, I like that. That takes a list of integers, and returns the biggest int in the list. So this whole idea of returning again is important. You can tell that I'm returning something here because I'm calling a function and then I'm setting it equal to a variable, which means that this function must return something in order to store it inside of a variable. You can assume that the list has at least one integer in it. A call of this function will look like yada yada. Do not use max, which is a built-in function from Python. Python has a ton of built-in stuff. So that's one of the reasons why Python is so nice to use. And it says the highest number in the list might be negative. So be careful of that. So we have our list here. And one of the things that we want to do is we want to loop through the list. So I'm going to do something like this. <clears throat> and there are four items in a list. I'm going to loop through and I am going to print off um, well, for right now, let's just print off I. And then we'll run it. And we get 0, 1, 2, 3. So why is 0, 1, 2, 3 so nice to have as an I value? That's because this position right here, this index, is the 0 index. This is the 1 index, 2 index, and 3 index, which is exactly what these are. So I can get to or access every item in this list with the help of I. Now, what I can do is say, hey, from the numbers list, I would like to get the ith item. So the first time to the loop, it's going to be the zeroth item, which is one. Next time to the loop, this will be a one, which will grab the number three. So here are the values from that list. It's by new numbers I. Now, this loop is okay, but there's a little bit better loop to use, or maybe maybe not better, but better looking. Now, we don't need to know where an item is in the list. That's what i is useful for, because that's the index. So we don't really need this for loop that uses i. So what we're going to do is let me just delete this. And I'm going to use this other one that looks very similar, but it looks like this. So it's going to go in the numbers list, and it's going to grab a single number. So this one is the singular version of this plural. So as always, I'm going to store one the first time through the loop in number. And this is from the numbers list. The next time through the loop, it's going to be three. So let me show you. So let me do print number. And we get the exact same output. But now we don't have to worry about this whole bracket thing and figuring out what I is. It just automatically grabs it. Super nice. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do this one exactly, but I'll let you know that, well, let me just do this part first a little bit. So you want to make some variable, I will call it biggest, big best, or biggest. And I want to set it equal to, I don't want to set it equal to zero, which is what we're probably used to because we're finding the, like the, the total of something, but we don't want to use zero because maybe all these numbers are negative, which is what they were kind of letting us know is maybe all the numbers and number in the list are negative. So setting this to equal zero would not give us the largest number. But what we can do instead is grab the one from the list. So don't put a one here, but go ahead and grab the one using numbers and its index and put it right here. So as we start out our program, the biggest number will be the first number in the list. Down here, what we would like to do is have some kind of if statement where, where we are comparing biggest to a number in the list. So it's gonna keep going through the number in the list compared to biggest and see if it's bigger. If it's bigger, well then that's your new biggest number. And you have to store that number now inside of the variable biggest. So it might take a little bit of work to do, but that's the gist of it. Um, when you guys are done making your function, because this is not a function yet, but you guys can chuck this all inside of a function. You don't need this because we are passing that in as a parameter. So your function that you make right here will automatically have that. 
So you're going to make a def right here, make a function, put all the stuff inside of it. And then in the end, outside of the loop, we don't want to return inside the loop. You want to wait until the loop goes through every single item in the list. And then after it goes through every single item in the list, go ahead and return the biggest number. And then just copy this and then go over to unit test and then paste it in. And then you guys can do the check. All right. I hope that is enough to get you guys going and good luck with that. All righty. Bye-bye.